Hey Libras, and welcome to your November 2016 general tarot forecast. My name is Sky, and I'm here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading to um, structure your month around. So if this reading really resonates with you guys, you can check out the link in the description box below, and you can jump over to my shop where you will see how to book a reading with me, the prices, etc. etc. Um, also, um, if you guys click in the top right corner of this video, you can see last month's reading and just get a list of different um, helpful links or readings that have to do with my channel. And anyway, without further ado, let's see what's happening for Libras in November. So, um, you guys are the only sign to have the tower pop up, which is always a very trying, exciting, and changing period of time. I always like to talk a lot about it when it pops up. So, it's hard right now, isn't Libras? There's a lot of um, purge going on right now. There's a lot of, you know, difficult, unexpected energies, but it's going to get better. You, This is necessary. This is something, this struggle that you're going through right now is Libras, and I'm going to put it straight there because I know. I don't know if other readers are, you know, sugarcoating it, but it's not pretty right now. It's a struggle. It's not pretty. What can we say? You've also, you've got the Hanged Man and the Wheel of Fortune, too, so that's three major arcana cards. Two of them are extremely heavy and difficult to navigate at times, but they can also be quite the adventure. So, you know, I'm going to put it straight out there to you guys, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's hard. There, someone could have cheated on you. You could have, someone, someone may have betrayed you. You know, the Ten of Swords isn't here, but you're really on guard. You've got the, um, the Six of Wands. Um, I'm sorry, the Seven of Wands. I always get them mixed up. Um, so you're on your guard. You're, there could have been manipulation. Someone was really harsh with you. There was a betrayal of sense. But, you know, you're just, you're picking up the pieces now and you're doing a good job of it. Okay? There, you've got to stop putting yourself in this position, Libras. Um, there's an aspect of, why don't you guys think that you need happiness in your life? I'm hearing that some of the Libras out there have, kind of been having to tell themselves that they don't their lifetime wasn't meant for happiness and that's how they're getting through this and I need you guys to wake up and I need you guys to um, realize how great you are like how much you give to the people around you you know it's hard to make decisions as a Libra it's you're, you're in your face with a lot of decisions in your life and it can be difficult it's what part of your life journey but you've done what you can um, there are a lot of people, you know, someone was really harsh. You've got that Queen of Swords, and it's upright, so it might have been something that you needed to hear, but they weren't careful in the way that they um, treated you with their words. And you've been really careful with them, is what I'm getting. Like, when, when you had the opportunity to be harsh, you weren't, so it was very much a stab in the back when they were so harsh with you, when they could have been more gentle, so I'm sorry that you've had to go through this harshness and this um, difficulty okay but you have the nine of cups there is somebody there are people who are ready to back you or you're in the process of creating relationships in which people will back you okay there's a transformation happening as it relates to your contacts the people that are in your life the people who are on your team okay you're in the phase of making allies and that might be because of this extremely, extremely volatile situation you found yourself in where you had to experience this betrayal um, or where you felt like some of the magic had been sapped from your life, okay? So you don't want that to happen again and you need people to come to bat for you because it seems like some of the people that were in your life didn't quite, weren't quite there like you were for them and that was hard to cope with, okay? But you're finally getting a network of allies and people together that you're there for, you're loyal to them, they're there for you, they're loyal to you and that's going to be so great for you but it takes time. You know it takes time to create a relationship like that so don't rush it. You guys also have the Wheel of Fortune. And, you know, it can be good or bad. Whether the wheel's in your favor or it's not in your favor. You know, you've got the tower there. I would say that you don't feel that it's in your favor right now. But how much was this necessary? This major change that's happening in your life right now? If you think objectively, because the tower always comes out when it was a necessary change. The tower doesn't really play around like the devil. The tower doesn't, um, doesn't just like to do it for fun, you know. Doesn't The tower is a necessary archetype. Um, it's necessary destruction so that you can get back to your roots and you can 
create a structure that is more sturdy and never make this mistake again in your life. Not that this was all your fault. That's not what I'm saying. But there's we're always responsible for where we find ourselves in our lives for the most part. You know, there are specific instances in which we're not. But, you know, if we if we find ourselves in relationships where someone cheats on us or where someone betrays us, oftentimes we realized that potential and we made some kind of decision to you know, hope for the best or kind of sugarcoat things or try to think that it was just us being paranoid. But often, 99% of the time, we're responsible for the situations we find ourselves in. So that's what the tower is doing. The tower is a nudge from the universe. It's a destructive energy, yes, but it's the universe doing what you don't have the guts to do. And that's what I love about the tower because as humans, you know, sometimes we'd rather stay in a destructive situation rather than just completely destroying it and starting anew. And that's what I love about it is it destroys it so that you can start it anew so that you don't complete destroy, so that you don't continue destroying yourself in the long term, you know, in the long run, even though it doesn't seem like it would be as painful for things to continue in normalcy. But over time, how destructive could it actually be? You don't need to be with somebody who's put you through this, Libras. So the universe is just doing what was too hard for you to do and it's hard it's difficult to work through but you're getting a lot of understanding from it too getting past the whole idea of this destruction or this unexpected thing that happened you guys have learned a lot you guys have learned to feel for other people you guys have learned to be there for other people because you now know what it's like for people to not be there you may not have had as good of a realization of that before this happened to you so that's great and you know also the hanged man in reverse that says to me that you guys aren't willing you, you guys are going to take the wheel you guys are going to be in control because sometimes libra's like to not be in control you know um you guys like for someone else to kind of call the shots sometimes because you don't like to make decisions you don't because you don't like it when things go bad you're one of the signs that has the biggest sensitivity to when a situation goes bad therefore you'd much rather allow someone else to make the decisions that way if it goes bad it's on them and you can kind of help pick up the pieces. It's not that you like to kind of say, I told you so. It's not that you like to like waggle your finger at someone when something goes wrong. It's just very hard for you to stomach the blame when it does. So, you know, you're getting past that. You're realizing that, you know what, even if I have to take the blame if something goes wrong, it's better to be in control of my own existence. And along with taking the wheel, you're now defending yourself from people who try to take advantage of you. You're not taking it anymore. Um, you're sorting through the people that are going to be there for you and the people who aren't and you're making good with it and you're moving on and that's what you need to do whenever the tower pops up there is an aspect of needing to move on too from all of this and you know when we find ourselves in a stage of needing to move on it takes two things it takes courage and it takes balance and you know balance is one of those key words with the sign of libra again so um you know you've got to keep those emotions balanced you've got to keep those um even like your diet and the things that are in the physical world, they have to be balanced because, you know, if you're um, not eating right, that's going to add to any kind of emotional instability that's already there. Um, you know, as health goes, there could be some blood sugar problems. I'm getting that. I, I, that could also be coming from like the nine of cups and the tower. You could be having some kind of health problem as it relates to those to like blood or blood sugar. That's random. It just kind of came forward. But moving on. And for you guys, for you guys to move on, it's, you got to have that courage and you've got to realize this stage has ended. It, there's been an aspect of destruction to the, to my experience. And now I've got to move forward and I've got to hone in on my own courage and my own sense of balance to move forward. Because that's one thing when it, when things get real, when it gets real, Libras find the balance. That's what you're called to do many times in your life. Like day to day, it can seem so difficult. But when people depend on you and when you're depending on yourself, you find it and you do it. And that's what you guys have to do for November. It's been a great reading. I don't feel that I can say more. I feel like to say more would be rambling because you guys need to understand the severity of the destruction that has occurred. And you guys need to know that the universe is lovingly telling you to move forward. It's accepting this guardedness that you're experiencing and it is very happy that you have been able to move forward and the small steps that you've made to move forward have are very enforced with the universe right now so i hope that you guys have a great november and i will see you on the other side of it in december good luck with everything